museum has some great displays that are on display uh, all year, every year for guests to come and see. We have copies of all of our World Series rings, uh, 27 World Series championships, but only 26 rings because in 1923, the Yankees players received pocket watches instead of World Series rings. We have all seven of our World Series trophies going back to 1977. The centerpiece in the entire museum is our ball wall display. We have autographed baseballs here from 870 players, coaches, managers, even a few executives from Yankees history. It's really the, the highlight of the museum. People really enjoy looking at this display. And of course we have statues at either end, a statue of Don Larson replicating the last pitch of his perfect game in the 1956 World Series. And 60 feet, 6 inches away is Yogi Berra waiting to catch the ball for the final out of that game. We also rotate several exhibits. Uh, the large exhibit that we have featured right now is called Five Great Teams. It honors five of the best teams in Yankees history. We also have displays honoring some of our more recent Monument Park inductees, Paul O'Neill, Tina Martinez, Goose Gossage, and Joe Torre. This is my favorite piece in the whole museum. This is the bat that Babe Ruth used to hit Yankee Stadium's very first home run, the day the ballpark opened, on April 18, 1923. And the thing I love about this bat is if you turn it over, on the back side, there's a very slight flat spot on the barrel. That's where Babe actually made impact with the ball. He hit the baseball so hard, he actually bruised the wood in that spot. July 4th, 1939 was one of the most significant days in Yankees history. That was the day when Lou Gehrig was honored following his retirement as a player. The Yankees honored Gehrig between games of a doubleheader on July 4th of that year. Gehrig received many gifts. He received a trophy from his teammates. He received a gift even from Babe Ruth, who came back to pay homage to his former teammate. And one of the gifts that he received was from a group of baseball alumni in Denver, Colorado. And the group presented Lou Gehrig with a framed copy of a poem called Don't Quit. Now the original copy has been lost to time, but the only known copy of this original that still exists is this copy right here. Many visitors say that this is their favorite piece. This is the bat that Mickey Mantle used in the 1964 World Series against the St. Louis Cardinals. Going into that series, Mickey had 15 career home runs in the World Series, and that was tied with Babe Ruth for an all-time Fall Classic record. Mickey used this bat to hit home runs number 16, 17, and 18, and that 18 home runs remains a World Series record to this day. For guests who are coming on game days, the museum is open from the time gates open to the stadium, which is two hours prior to the start of the game, and the museum remains open free of charge until the end of the eighth inning. Guests can also see the museum as part of the Yankee Stadium Tours program, which runs year-round, uh, and the museum is one of the highlights on that tour.